Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Sensational Locks and I got a game changer for y'all. Like, have y'all seen this tool yet? Lock Community, have y'all seen this yet? If you haven't seen this before, this is a double needle crochet hook right here. And you know what they say, two is always better than one. So I had to try it out. I had to pick me up one. I was on Instagram when I saw this. I was just scrolling and I came across um, Petra's Naturals. I believe that's her Insta, her tag on Insta. And I'll put her information up on the screen here. And the way that you order this tool is you have to slide into her DMs. You know, she'll let you know the price. She'll ship it to you. And it arrived really quickly. But I just really needed to try this out. Because I was like, bro, this is inventive. This is... This could be everything. Next level. My theory is, I got two needles now. I should be able to create twice as many knots and move twice as fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and compare that for you guys. So I have my you know, traditional crochet hook, and then I have that new, what I'm thinking is a game changer here with the two needles. And I'm gonna compare that on some straight hair for y'all. So I just have some regular braiding hair that I used on some box braids last week. And I'm showing you guys these uh, locks that I was able to create with that straight hair. And yes, straight hair locks can look just like kinky locks. But just diving into this here, we're examining the tool. And the traditional is a 0.6 millimeter and the needle is really small and really sharp. The new double hook uh, claims to be a 0.5 millimeter. But when I was looking, I think that the needle is just a little bit, just, just the tiniest bit bigger than the traditional. And I think that that definitely comes into play. Now here we just have an honorary mention. It's a 1.8 millimeter. Nothing I would ever use to create instant locks or lock extensions, but it is a good tool to take them down. So just keep that in mind if you guys ever want to take down some lock extensions or locks. So just prepping the hair, showing you guys I got the same amount for each. But back into the lock tool review real fast, I wanted to show you guys, look at the damage that has just happened over the years and the weeks of me using the traditional tool. I ended up in the emergency room when I first started using this tool, y'all. It's dangerous, it's sharp, and if you haven't used it before, then be careful and pay attention. Don't ever get distracted or that could happen. But this new tool is not very sharp at all. It's it's really dull. And as you can see, I'm putting a lot of pressure on my thumb and I'm not hurting myself. And I was super excited about that. So I'm hopping right into it and I'm just gonna let the video speak for itself. And let y'all draw your own conclusions. Man, I am zooming with the double needle. Like, as you can see, I'm still pretty much at the top, still trying to create my foundation on the straight hair. Straight hair locks take a lot longer um, because the hair isn't as kinky. You're having to create more knots to actually pull that hair in. Um, but with the double needle, it was really um, an advantage for me because it started to create the knots below. And then as I'm working my way down, I already have something to latch onto. So major advantage. Um, but also a slight disadvantage because um, with the traditional hook, you're almost forced to stay in that one, stay in that area and really build it up, pull all the loose hairs in. But with that space that's in between the two needles here, it does leave um, room for the lock not to be as dense. But that's really not an issue. You can just go back and strengthen the lock and work your way up and make sure it's as dense and as strong as you want it to be. So definitely not a con. But I'm already at the end with this. <sighs> like it shaved half the time off of my personal time of creating these extensions. And also, you guys will see towards the end, the lock extension that I created with the uh, with the double needle actually turned out longer. It was actually like maybe three fourths of an inch longer than the lock that I created, even though the hair was the same length. And so 
the density was a little less but i could go back in and always build that up this this is a game changer i'm still working the traditional hook is still got still i'm just dragging along taking my sweet time now the lock is going to be really nice i of course i know the quality is going to be there but we have quality and speed with the double needle so definitely a game changer if you guys haven't um, went out and got you one hit her up petra's naturals it's gonna help you out yeah and so both locks are good quality lock extensions um i would go back to both of them and just pull in all of the little loose hairs um but yeah see that length difference here the longer one was created with the double needle. Here's the one that we created with our traditional. And you can see that mug is dense. It, that's the quality right there. Look how, look at that. Definitely. And then if you compare, you can already see that this is not as dense. It It's a little looser. But really that could be an advantage as well because you don't want your locks to be stiff. I think what I will do, I definitely won't be retiring my traditional hook, but I think I would use them together. I think that these tools will work out perfect together. And so I'm gonna try it on my next client. I will go ahead and just form the lock, speed through it with the double needle and come back in and create the density that I want. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And we got more content coming your way.